Welcome to Ashwantarame. So we are going to learn this rocket emission system in Unreal Engine 5.6.1 by using Niagara Particles. Niagara Particles is basically a VFX, you know, procedural VFX tool for Unreal Engine. We can create this, this sort of effects or simulations easily uh, by using Niagara Particles. So this is a rocket simulation. This course has three parts. You just have to follow follow along with this course. So let's get started. So this is uh, Unreal Engine 5.6.1. You just have to create a new level, and we have to create a new folder here. Okay, let's create a new folder. Let's name it uh, Rocket. Effects. and just put a color onto the folder so we can easily understand what's going on there and let's add the effects we'll choose Niagara system here from the effects panel and from there we will and we'll choose a fountain here this one I'll choose that there are a lot of options here, but I'll choose Fountain for creating this effect and I'll just click Create. So yeah, the system has created here. We'll just rename it to something like Rocket FX, but I think I cannot create that name again. I'll, I'll choose some other yeah F enough yes so we just created a system here as you can see a lot of particles are emitted from the system now what we want to do is just there are a lot of properties here just click on the property and first we have to take the local space here make sure that you press that and uh, a lot of things happening here we'll just look into that and uh, we'll reduce this sprite, sprite rate to something like 5 because I don't need 90 particles or maybe 3 is enough alright 3 is enough I think uh, Duration would be four or something. Okay, that's fine. And uh, uh, particles spawn. You just need to follow along with me. That's enough. And uh, we'll do some changes here and there. And uh, we have to change the color here like uh, we'll choose 500 or something like that so you will get uh, you no know, very uh, shining uh, fire like emissions here if you choose 500 or something like that and, uh, it's totally upon to you you can change the color whatever you want doesn't matter uh, and we'll change to non-uniform here sprite attributes and we'll do change here also now it's look like this and, uh, yeah i'll just okay now it's going upwards well, uh, this seems good for me I think all right that is going upwards now I have to deal with the this
you just need to follow along here because uh, it's totally up to you here this part only we'll do some adjustment here and there and that's it now i will increase here like 1200 so it will go fastly and also i will change the points to 45 degrees so it will go around like this Now this this year we have to ch make a change here like uh, I will reduce it to minus 60 or something and that's so important so it will go upwards like there upwards so that what we want and uh, drag it should be stay like that you can adjust here but I don't think that is necessary here grab the force we will already reduced that and uh, render will change to and this is this one is important we will change to velocity aligned to uh, unaligned sorry uh, unaligned to velocity aligned that's my mistake sorry so we'll change to velocity aligned so it will go straightly now that's it we'll check the blueprint here we'll just drop that here and we'll check that I think it's working nicely. Yeah, it's working really good. So this is what we want. Yeah, it's going upwards. So that's it. So in the next part, we will add the trails. After that, we will add the smokes. Thank you for watching this video. Make sure hit the like button and subscribe this channel.